This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version. I'm on level 26, a fine mint. Goals. Defeat the peons, collect the coins. Ooh, peons. Oh, are they? Okay. And the coins. Ooh, coins. Now you'll need to write your own functions. We've given you the pickup coin as an example, but you need to create an attack enemy function. Ooh. All right, so let's see. Def definition, right? This means define attack enemy. Put your attack code here. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, so here's their example. So this is a definition of a function. We make this pickup coin function. Then everything indented here, all of this, the coin, the if, the hero move, that's all part of this function. So anytime I write below pick up coin like here, it the computer knows, oh, okay, I need to run some function. Where is it? Oh, here it is, and it runs all of this code. So let's see here. Write the attack enemy function below. All right, so we need DEF and then attack. They want a capital E here. Enemy, I need parentheses, colon, enter. Find the nearest enemy. Okay, find nearest enemy and attack them if they exist okay so now i want to check if enemy right and then i want to attack so what our function does is every time we write attack enemy down in here in fact wait attack enemy uncomment this to use it okay so er hashtags are a comment i just uncommented it this is all still a comment because there's a hash there um, and now our attack, I'm going to get rid of this, though, just for clarity. All right, so what this does, our, the computer's first going to say, while true, it's going to loop. It doesn't run any of this code. These are functions. You have to call them. This is where we call them. So the computer is going to go straight to here. While true, okay, I'm going to loop attack enemy. Oh, where's attack enemy? Oh, here it is. So to attack an enemy, zoop, I'm going to, and then runs all this code. Hero, find nearest enemy. My hero will look around. It, the nearest enemy's new name is enemy. Or my hero looks around and sees nothing, so enemy would equal nothing. That is why we use an if. If enemy. So if the enemy exists, right? So if enemy equals something, right? If enemy equals an enemy, then we drop down, the computer says true, and run this code. However, if my hero looked around and found nothing, enemy equals nothing. So then if enemy, the computer says no, the enemy just equals nothing. So false we drop below the if hit the bottom and we're done running the function all right so the, we're only attack if there's an enemy then we do pick up coin the computer says oh where's that code oh here it is we declare a coin we find the nearest item if coin exists and then we move to pick it up i think all right so let's test this out Great, so here's the code that worked for me. Let's keep going. 